Hells, who's going lag in there, guys? How you doing? My name is Pone, and uh, I'm glad to have you here on the channel. I got some pretty awesome information coming at you guys right now. Oh, I pity the guys wearing tight jeans today. Woo! So, we got some really badass information coming at you guys. I'm just going to kind of cover the most important things that I see that gets me a little excited and kind of pump it right at you guys to save you guys the time through dissecting all the patch notes. But there will be in-depth weapon analysis in the future. So, if you are new here, subscribe. Stay tuned for that. The big one. Oh my god, there is a god. I have the ability to now get exotics from Crucible playlists due to the three of coins. Hallelujah. That's exciting news right there. I always thought it was unfair and it was completely cruel to allow the PvE players and strike people to be able to get rewards and increased chances of exotic drops while the PvP guys were left with dick in hand. And that is absolutely incredible. I applaud them for that. That was a sneaky one, Bungie. I see you. That was good. Nightfalls now award 500 Vanguard rep on first completion per character per week. This is pretty much falling back to how it used to be. 500 rep is a big thing though. That's exciting. As for the changes for the strikes, Wool of Crota Strike has been added to the Vanguard Strikes and Vanguard Heroic Strikes playlist. Mmm, girl. So, other than that, not too much has been changed in some of the general ideas. Now, one thing that's going to kind of maybe mix the community around a little bit. The Mercy Rule no longer applies to the Rumble playlist. I know. That's tragic, as we're so good and we can all do that so easily. The big one, though, is the Rumble playlist must now be entered as a solo player. You can't take friends along anymore. I know. Tier, tier. Let me know what you guys think about that fix down in the comment section below. We've got a lot of fixes, especially those that allow people to get out of the maps on a lot of the new maps available in the game. So those things, I'm just going to kind of skip over. Just understand a lot of those have been fixed, which is pretty exciting. Another big one, and this one's for me, and you guys have probably experienced it. I believe the kids nowadays are calling it sprint locking. It was the process of where you tried to sprint, you tried to run, and all of a sudden you'd kind of just get stuck in goop. You know what I mean? You'd move really, really slow. And even though it looks like you're sprinting, you're kind of stuck in a Baywatch commercial. You know what I mean? It's just like, what? Kind of frozen, if you will. And that's been fixed, which was big because that's impacted me and trying to evade away from enemies in Crucible so many times as it stopped me right in my tracks. The grip has been released. We are now free to move as nature intended it. So we're back to full speed, guys. Hype. So what else I have to talk about are basically some of the exotic changes. A lot of these you guys should already know about. Basic stuff, weapon balance, all these things were kind of leaked or told about in the previous patch notes. What is to know right now are a few other things they were throwing in. Dragon's Breath. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, really? Okay. We already knew that they were going to tweak this. Bringing a year two version in and not tweaking it, it was the most unused gun in the game period. When no land beyond's used more than you, you should probably get that looked at. Dragon's Breath, remove Pyromancer and Tripod perks, replaced with Surplus, and who's next? Add Intrinsic Perk Napalm, rocket fires on a remote detonation trigger. Hold to trigger to fire, release trigger to detonate. Detonation drops a solar damage napalm canister. Reduce projectile speed to help timing of the trigger release. Reduce detonation radius of initial rocket. Reduce mag size to one, increase inventory. So overall, you're just going to have a lot of probably CC involved in this. You're going to be able to control the areas. My guess, and my prediction, at least it was from a couple weeks ago, though I've never tampered with the new Dragon's Breath itself, is I wanted to believe that the Dragon's Breath, seeing as how the actual mechanic was already in the game, was basically going to explode. And instead of a solar grenade, which made no sense seeing as how the actual impact itself was enough to kill probably anything in the area, the solar grenade is not good enough, seeing as how it usually scares people away. I expected a void wall grenade to pretty much be in there. Hopefully, we'll find out when you guys get your hand on it. For the most part, that's what's changed. Black Spindle now only has one scope. We know it was bugged before, but it has been removed. The Sleeper Simulant, maximum inventory ammo buff from 7 to 9. The ammo swap exploit was removed. And inventory no longer benefits from fusion rifle armor perks, but does benefit from heavy ammo armor perks. Now, this is some of the changes to the armor. The Tychonaut no longer turns off tracking for rocket launchers that have tracking. ATS-8 Tarantella, arc damage reduction applies to vehicles. The Ockley of Age Symbiote, time you can have Golden Gun active is reduced. That's a big one. Nothing Manacles, slightly turned down the tracking on the Scatter Grenade. No backup plans, Shotgun Activating Force Barrier only works for Defender Titans. And the Skull of Dire Ahamkara has been added to the Exotic Blueprint Collection. But for the most part, that's all the information that kind of popped out to me, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. Subscribe for future stuff. And reminder, I will definitely be breaking down the gun balance in a video in the next couple days. So look forward to that. Have a great one, guys.